Hello, in this video I would like to show how you can create Salesforce data extensions. So, data extension is a table that contains your data and using Marketing Cloud Connect, you can push data from Marketing Cloud back to your sales or service cloud and do the other way around. So. In this video, I would like to show how you can um, get the reports that you create in your Salesforce org to Salesforce Marketing Cloud and then use it for different segmentation and filtering purposes. So use it as a normal data extension. As a warning for this video, I would like to say that the first thing that you need to have is um, to have Marketing Cloud Connect enabled and up and running and accessible for the users who are going to use both Salesforce and Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So the user permissions need to be set up correctly. So first things that I'm going to show you is I'm going to navigate to Salesforce in order to create a lead that we're going to use in the report that we're going to move to connect with uh, Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So now I navigated to my uh, Salesforce Sales Cloud and uh, I am in the Leads tab. So I'm going to create a new lead for the sake of this video. I'm going to just uh, install some basic information So this is what I'm going to have for my contact. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to navigate to reports and create a new report. I'm going to choose report type leads. And here I have two leads for this report and I'm going to save it and go into provide a name for this new report. Also, it provides a unique name automatically. I can, of course, select a folder and so on and save it. So my new report with Salesforce data is saved. Now I'm going to be getting back to Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Here I'm opening interactions and import. Here it's important to say that the next action that I'm going to do requires some additional privacy settings from the account who is going, from a user who is going to do this action. So you need to be sure that the person who has access to this is perhaps a Marketing Cloud admin or a person who has data to both Salesforce and Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Perhaps it's the person who has also set up Marketing Cloud Connect for you. Now in the imports, I'm going to click on create, provide a name for the import. I'm going to provide the same name as I provided for my Salesforce report. And here I'm choosing a source. So from where am I downloading this info from? And I'm going to choose here Salesforce data source type, not object, but a report. And here I press select contains. And here I can just use a keyword to find the file. We're going to find the report that we have just created. So here it is. And OK. Now we can customize our data extension generation. So here we can choose what kind of fields we would like to add and what kind of field type we want to have it. So for instance, for email, we can change it to email address. And uh, I think that that would be the only change, but you can also change it to date if there is a date field or to number if there is a number field. We're going to include all these fields and save configuration and then just press save. So now the import has uh, been saved and we can also start it. So now this import has to generate a data extension in Salesforce Marketing Cloud that you can use. You can easily find it using deselect search and then just type the name of your import here. You find where it was saved and press search. And we can see that it was just saved in the data extension folder. So we're going to navigate there to find our data extension. We're going to also look for the data extension in the search here. And we can find this data extension that has two records. One of the records that we have created just now and one record that was already in this new report. So this is how you can create Salesforce data extension. So basically how you can use the reports from Salesforce and import them into Salesforce Marketing Cloud when you have Marketing Cloud Connect enabled. Also, you can create Salesforce data extensions in order to move them from 
SFMC to Salesforce. We hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this and also subscribe to our newsletter. The link you can find in the description to this video and you will never miss out on deselect updates and SFMC best practices. Thank you for watching and bye.